Hi guys. Okay, so voice is not good. I got as far as the 2nd of January, yeah, and then came down the serious dose of the lurgy on the Friday. So, some of you might say, well done, Rich, because at least you made it through Christmas and New Year, yeah, which I did. But what I didn't make it through was Three Kings. So, Three Kings is the 5th and 6th of January. It's the 6th today. Today's a big public holiday family day rather like christmas day in the uk but it's not the spanish christmas because well they have that on the 25th of december the same as the uk 5th of january is the one with the big street parades and i really wanted to be out there filming this but you know what happens once a year this year there was no chance of me making it so what did we miss and why am i here today okay well the spanish celebrate christmas on christmas day the same as most of europe this is actually the celebration of Epiphany, which is the 12th day of Christmas. So, yeah, this is what we missed. This is a really crazy thing we have here, yeah? I don't know if you have this where you are, but this is Three Kings. Even with, well, Finding Nemo. I mean, this is crazy, yeah? And uh, the Cult of Cthulhu. How Lovecraftian is that, yeah? So, so much we wanted to film that again. Guess we have to wait till 2027 now. Yeah, do they have that where you live, by the way? It's called Epiphany. Although here it is called Lost Teres Reynas or Three Kings. You should have that everywhere because it means after New Year you get an extra public holiday. Yeah, and another party. Anyway, we're here for different reasons today, guys, so enough of that, but I'd like to know what you think about it down there. The reason we're here is, well, we had the prize draw for the winners from the Alien Tech giveaway, and I have three winners. The prize draw was on the live stream on 4th of January. A lot of you guys did watch that. You know it was completely above board and fair, okay? So the three winners, third prize is Antonio Cordero. 8836. Well done, you won the LT1 smart tweezers. I need your postal details. So please contact the email address on the screen now, or it's also in the video description. Get in touch with me so I can confirm your postage details. I will then pass them on to Alien Tech and they will ship your prize to you. Okay, so Antonio Cordero, well done. Second prize. Paul 67558. Okay, so you won the T90A soldering iron. Once again, I need your postal details to get that sent to you by Alien Tech. So please email me so we can sort that out for you, mate. And congratulations. And lastly, first prize goes to Attifix. So you have won the DM48 multimeter. Same applies, I need to get contact from you for your postal address. I do know you have a YouTube channel, a electronic repair service channel. There is an email on your contact details. I have emailed you, but I've not heard from you. I know you are in India, so please get in touch with me so we can arrange to send you your winnings. And absolutely congratulations, mate. Well done. And for those of you who entered but didn't win, Thank you for supporting the competition. And as a thank you from Alien Tech, I have some discount coupons, exclusive ones, for all of you guys who are watching, whether you entered or not. So I have these. I'll put them in the video description. I'll stick them there next to me. So these are discount coupons. The numbers are all zeros, not letter O's, okay? But you can get them from the link. Just copy them off the video description. So those are some exclusive discount codes. They start today on the 6th of January and they run from today for one month. So if you still like to buy one of these amazing devices, there's some extra special discounts. And that's thank you from Alien Tech and from me for supporting the competition. And while still on the topic of Alien Tech, I have two more devices from them. I actually really like their stuff, guys. 
Everything I've tested so far has been very, very good. Okay, sometimes I could suggest little improvements and I've done that. Oh, and on that topic, I won't forget. You remember some of you saw the LT1 review and two issues that were mentioned from that. One, that it should incorporate the Mr. Bleep feature. It does continuity buzzer already. I spoke to Alien Tech about this and they said actually, yes, that's possible with firmware and they were going to look into it to see if they could do it. So we may get an update for that with the Mr. Bleep. That'd be really great. And they also discussed with me the issue it doesn't have a 100 kilohertz ESR tester. It's 10 kilohertz. The reason they tell me is because the hardware on a lot of these devices which does have the 100 kilohertz test mode is not reliable. They do not give consistent results. They are working on a different solution to this, which will be 100 kilohertz. It will be consistent, okay? And that will be on the LT2 when it comes out. So we will have that. But the LT1 is a great tester. So I have this. This is the HP20. I was going to review these today, guys, but sorry, I'm just not quite up to it. Yeah, the voice won't do it. But this is a hot plate. Gets up to 200, no, 350 degrees centigrade. This is hot enough to melt solder. This is a proper reflow hot plate. It's 10 centimeters by six. It's particularly designed for phone repair and similar devices, but it has other uses also. And the great thing with this, it has this reflow mode. You can see on the picture on the front, this little graph. So this has programmable heat profiles you can set up the initial heat period time slope second and then you have a kind of like a soaking phase where it holds the temperature you can then go up again you can tell it to cool off so this is programmable and that's the first time i've really seen that in a small hot plate or many hot plates even so this is going to be really interesting as soon as i'm up to it i will definitely review this because i want to see how well this works Knowing alien tech, it works really rather well, yeah. Do you guys have these? Tell us down there. This is a new product. There was an earlier version. I'm not sure what the difference is. HP 15, this is HP 20. And I also have this. So this is the electronic load, EL 15, 150 watt maximum, 0.1 to 60 volt, okay, 0 to 12 amp. So I'll just basically show you what this claims to do. Again, knowing alien tech, it will do it. And here is the information I have. So, mini DC electronic load for battery measurement. Yeah, and other uses. No doubt it is a load. Aluminium CNC craftsmanship. It's small pocket sized apparently, but powerful. So, you can use it as a, a constant current mode. So, it effectively keeps the drill the same regardless of voltage. Constant voltage mode, okay, so you always have the same voltage. Constant resistance mode, adjust the load current according to the input voltage. Constant power mode, okay, adjust the load current according to input voltage to make the load consume constant power. And then it goes into the various battery measurement modes, capacity test, internal resistance measurements power supply measurement modes. So this is what this does. I've not tried a device anything like this one before, I will say. We can see the voltage range and current range setting within one millivolt and one milliamp. And Bluetooth. They are saying this is applicable for power supply performance and aging testing, charger performance, power bank capacity, internal resistance testing, battery capacity, internal resistance testing, okay? So we can take a look at that one shortly. A few things coming up soon then, and it is 2026, New Year. So have you guys made any New Year resolutions? I haven't made a New Year's resolution. In fact, I haven't for some years now. Come to that in a moment. But I did get this from Detlef, and it says, Don't expect any New Year's resolutions from me. 
I intend to stay the same awkward, sarcastic, foul-mouthed delight you've all come to know and love. Oh, bless you, Dad. Left. That made me smile. <coughs> I can't laugh. That made me cough. Anyway, yeah, Dad. Left. Completely agree there, mate. And what's Carlos's input to all this? Well, Carlos created that, yeah. <laughs> He gave us this on the live stream just before Christmas. And we have the t-shirts to prove it. Yeah. Cheers, Carlos. I think I'm going to say nice one. What you other guys think of that? Well, do you have mates like that? Uh, who do that to you? Well, some of you say who needs enemies, but no, mates, love it. Cheers. And I don't have any resolutions either, mainly because... 2025 was a pretty good year. I think it was a pretty good year for the channel and it was a pretty good year for me and Julie and Detlef and everybody else, I think. So, no resolutions, but I have a couple things in mind and just before the voice gives up altogether, I'm going to suggest. So, one thing I would really like to try to do with the channel in 2026 is to find more varied repair jobs. I haven't focused in any particular direction. I've just gone with whatever comes along. And the old car booty videos we made a lot, but I seem to have pretty much just exhausted the supply now. It took me a few years and it's only a small island, yeah. I'll get a few more, no doubt, come along, but I can't do that as a regular feature anymore. I could buy more stuff at the car boot sale. Seems to be a lot of vintage audio equipment. Other things as well, some really old stuff, valve equipment. Don't know if you guys are that interested, but we could maybe do something in that direction every so often, get something and try to fix it. I'll try and put the word around more just to see what I can get coming in through the door. And I have another idea. I'm a bit on the fence with this one. And it's coming from various suggestions over various years, really, from you guys, to put together a more structured electronic repair series yeah just part of the channel but something more structured like how to learn electronics repair from the beginning which also means learning electronics now i've had a go at this before with it all you need to know about i've done all the various common components and that i have in mind maybe to do something similar but more kind of mixture of practical experiments in the video plus some chatting and teaching kind of like what you need to know. Yeah, oh damn, I used that one before, didn't I? And going through that, so how to learn to repair, really. What do you guys think? I'm asking you guys now. I mean, for a lot of you guys, this is probably not really your thing because you're more advanced than the starts of this anyway. I know some of you just like to watch it, yeah? But what do you think? If you feel there's enough of a call for a very structured electronics repair course from the beginning, then let me know. I would like to put that as an integral part of this channel. I know this channel's a bit chaotic in the way it always has been. Yeah, jumps from topic to topic, difficulty levels, just how it comes, yeah. I do have a possibility to put that external to the channel in a more structured manner and then it kind of doesn't disturb the, you know the vibe here so i'm just asking you guys now 2026 do you want to see it do you think there's any legs on it and should i do it what do you guys think okay so sorry guys the voice is done it for today hopefully back in a couple of days time wishing yourself and all your family a very prosperous 2026 and i shall see you all very soon this year Ciao for now, guys.